would big commerce be a good choice for a new e-commerce site instead of Shopify? No. <laughs> Most of the e-commerce environments, uh, you know, it's interesting. They, they kind of mimic each other, but they leapfrog each other. But over time, some of them become better for this and some of them become better for that. Um, it depends. Uh, I know this is the typical SEO answer. It depends. Um, I would look at what features matter to you. If you need really uh, strong shipping capability, you may find that this site is better than that site. You know, it prints the labels, it does it remotely, you can do it, you can support 100 terminals in your warehouse. I mean, what do you, what do you need? They're not all the same, or they'd all be the same price and the same complexity. There are going to be features that some are better at. Uh, I think that's your determining factor. You, you pick based upon your needed solution. Uh, and by the way, I don't think you pick based upon price. You pick based upon, is this a robust solution that's going to solve my problem? Yes or no. And then the rest of it is just you figuring out how to manage your business. Somehow you'll pay for it. If it's the right solution, you'll be glad you paid for it. You know, the cheaper you want it, the cheaper you get it. Um, you pay for a, there's a value there. You pay for that. You select for that. You determine what is the best fit for your needs. And that is your solution. Hopefully you can afford it, but that would be your solution. And at that level, you're good. I don't, I, we do not commonly recommend platforms for a solution. If it works, it works. If you want to ask Bruce Clay your SEO question, head on over to seotraining.com slash pages slash webinar and register to join our next live webinar with the father of SEO himself. It's completely free and allows you to get the SEO insights you need for your website. So sign up today so you don't miss out.